Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. It's a beautiful day to show you how to make cute personalized towels on the Great Maker Show and Towel. I love quick and easy gift ideas. Last year I made personalized pot holders and I showed you how to do it too, of course. I also made a customized serving tray with a family name. So now we just need a kitchen towel. These flower sack towels are decorated with vinyl sayings. Aren't they just so cute and so easy to make? With these towels, we can now make a whole kitchen gift basket completely personalized for a family. To decorate these towels, we need cotton dish towels. You can use actual flower sack towels or just regular towels. The smoother the fabric, the easier it's going to be to transfer your vinyl and keep it there wash after wash. So for that reason, I recommend you avoid the terry cloth style kitchen towels. Now we also need iron-on vinyl, also known as heat transfer vinyl for the decorations that go on the towels. I'm using a variety of colors, red, green, blue, yellow, pink. You can use any colors you want. You do not need transfer tape when you use iron-on vinyl. Tools used for this project include a way to cut your vinyl. I'm using the Cricut Explorer along with my fine point blade and a green standard grip mat. You'll also need a weeding tool for removing the excess vinyl before you apply it. Now to get your vinyl onto your towel, you're gonna to need a way to heat and press it, such as a household iron or the Cricut Easy Press. I'm using the Cricut Easy Press 2 along with the Easy Press mat. So if you don't have the mat, you can use a folded towel. I do not, however, recommend an ironing board as it can cause uneven heat distribution. Now, I've prepared four designs for you to play with. Happiness is homemade, squeeze the day, life is short, lick the bowl, and the dishes are looking at me dirty again. <laughs> so fun. My designs have multiple colors, as you can see, but you can make them all the same color if you wish. If this is your first time using vinyl, you might wanna stick with one color. And that's it. This is a great beginner project. So let me show you where to find the towel designs. And then I will show you how to cut and apply your vinyl designs to your towels. Step one, get the towel designs. Download my four free towel designs from my blog at jennifermaker.com 263. Just go to the red bar at the top and look for libraries and then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the patterns by searching the page for design 263 and then click it to download an SVG cut file for cutting out a Cricut or another cutting machine or a printable PDF. Step 2. Upload the towel designs. Let me show you how to cut this on a Cricut. First, upload the SVG cut file that you downloaded in step one to Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to unzip and upload SVG files, please watch my SVGs Made Simple training series at jennifermaker.com SVGS. With the designs uploaded into Cricut Design Space, decide which design you'd like to cut. This may be the hardest part of this whole project. <laughs> Once you've picked the design, hide the designs that you're not going to cut. You can do this by selecting the layer in the list on the right and then click the eye icon to hide the designs that you don't want. Feel free to personalize your design by adding a name above or below your design as well. Now double check that the size of your design will fit on your towel. If you need to resize the design to fit your towel, you can resize with the resize icon in the lower right corner or just type a new size into the height and width boxes at the top of the screen. You may also want to use different colors. If so, select the layers that you want to change and then set the new color with the color picker box at the top of the screen. Click the Make It button. You will see your project separated out by color into different mats. Now, this is very important. You must now toggle on the mirror option for every layer. All iron-on vinyl designs must be mirrored before cutting. Don't forget to do this. When all layers are mirrored, click Continue and select your material. I'm using Everyday Iron-on Vinyl as my material for this project. Now to show you how easy this is to cut and apply to your kitchen towel, my design elf will cut and assemble this project while I talk you through it. 
When you're ready to cut your iron on vinyl, be sure to place the vinyl shiny side face down on your cutting mat. It's very important that you put your iron on vinyl shiny side down on your mat. If you're having a problem telling which side of your vinyl goes down on your mat, I recommend you check out jennifermaker.com slash iron on vinyl, which goes through what it looks like um, with different kinds of vinyl. Okay, so once your cutting mat is loaded with your vinyl, uh, loaded into your Cricut, press the flashing button to begin cutting. After your vinyl is all cut out, use a weeding tool to carefully weed out the parts that you don't want in your design. I find it helps to hold the vinyl up to a light source at an angle to see the cut lines. Now note that you do not need any transfer tape for an iron-on vinyl design. Iron-on vinyl comes on a carrier sheet which acts as our transfer sheet. So no transfer tape. Step 3. Decorate your towels. Now it's time to press your iron-on vinyl onto your kitchen towels. I'm using an easy press and a pressing mat, but you can also use a household iron and a folded bath towel. Now find the center of your kitchen towel. The easiest way to do this is to fold your kitchen towel in half lengthwise and press with your iron or Cricut Easy Press at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. Doing this step also removes any moisture from the towel, and that helps your vinyl stick and stay stuck better. Now, how you proceed from here depends on whether your design is one or two colors, or three or more colors. If you colored your design to have three or more colors, you'll want to press your layers for less time than I do here in this video to prevent your vinyl from overcooking. So for details on how to do that, please read my layering tutorial at jennifermaker.com slash layering iron on vinyl. If your design is one to two colors, on the other hand, you can just do it the way that we're doing it here in this video tutorial. Pick up the bottom layer or the layer with the largest surfaced area and lay the center of it on the center of your kitchen towel about two and a half inches from the bottom of the towel. Set your iron or easy press to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, and once it's heated to that temperature, put your iron or easy press on top of the design uh, that's on your towel, your kitchen towel, for 30 seconds with light pressure. You do not need anything between your carrier sheet and the easy press or the iron or whatever you're using to heat it. Now it's important to note that Everyday Iron On Vinyl is a cool peel vinyl, so be sure to let your design cool down before you attempt to remove the carrier sheet. If you try to peel the carrier sheet off and find that your vinyl isn't sticking to your kitchen towel, you may need to heat it again for another 10 seconds or so. If you have another color, it's time to apply the next layer, but it's important to cover and protect the layer you just did. Your second layer's carrier sheet may be large enough to cover the whole design, like mine is here, and if so, you're golden. Uh, but if your second layer does not cover the whole design, just position the layer and then place the carrier sheet that you pulled off from your first layer on top of it. Just make sure that any vinyl is protected when you're um, putting more vinyl on. Press again for 30 seconds. Once you have your design completely ironed on, flip the towel over and heat from the back side of the towel for about 15 seconds, just to be sure everything is stuck really well down. Mm -hmm. 
wait until it cools, and then peel the carrier sheet off. Step four, show it off. And that's all there is to decorating your towels. How fun are these? Make them for your kitchen, give them to a friend, go crazy. These are fun and cheerful, and it's just really quite easy to make these. Wasn't that easy? Now remember, you can personalize all of these by adding a family name above or below the design. I've listed the name of every font in these designs over on my blog at jennifermaker.com 263 so you can match the font if you wish. Now, if you have any questions about layering iron-on vinyl onto fabric, I want to help you. Leave your question below this video or ask in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And if you need a Cricut cutting machine, I give one away every month. You can enter for your chance to win a Cricut cutting machine at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. And that's it for today. Tomorrow, I'll be back to show you how to make adorable paper clips. Yes, they're super cute. And you can even make them um, cuter by using the debossing tool on your Cricut maker. Remember, I'm always open to your project ideas. If you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. <laughs>